Hello guys, Jimmy here with the uh, Kosh Garage. I have a 2013 uh, Jeep Patriot uh, installing uh, LED lights. And uh, I was running into some issues. Uh, one of them were uh, blinking. So the headlights will blink once in a while. And it has to do with the PWM, the Jeep's comes with. So basically what it is, is a pulsing uh, signal rather than just a steady DC uh, voltage current going to the light bulb so the reason why Jeep came out with that idea is very ingenious and very good uh, they're trying to save the life of the halogen light bulb by sending your pulse rather than constant uh, current to the filament because of the LED lights uh, uses far less power than the normal uh, halogen lights the PWM reads the uh, the resistance value for every X amount of pulses that it sends and when it doesn't send pulses then stop uh, sending signals that's what it causes the LEDs to blink it's the same thing with HID lights I installed in this vehicle LED lights and HID lights so both were having the same issue uh, HIDs were more steady but the problem is because you have to use the regular harness from the uh, from the car so you still have a pulsation rather than a steady signal so what I'm doing right here is I'm tapping into the uh, cigarette lighter power by adding up at two double tapping using here and I have uh, built my relay right here to have um, don't ignore the colors because I, I was just going with what it was coming so so in this case uh, the black one is the power from the battery the white one obviously is ground the blue one it's the uh, remote signal which I'm using it from the cigarette lighter to activate or actuate the relay and the red one is the actual power uh, carrying to the actual uh, connections right here so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna show you that the relay won't actuate until I turn the car on so the way your lights are only working when you have the vehicle running so it's going to be running parallel to the regular PWM pulsations that the car has. So that way, for whatever reasons, uh, the computer doesn't like it, it always defaults back to the regular light. So uh, if you have any questions about that explanation, please uh, fire me a, an email by all means. So basically what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to test this end that comes out of the uh, relay and as you can see right here right now sorry for the camera movement um, there won't be there is not power right here so unless i think i put it on a permanent post right here that has power you can see there's a permanent pulse right there that has continuous current and unless in this case unless I turn on the car this won't work so what I'm gonna do in here is very simple I'm gonna plug this slim uh, connection into the into the positive uh, of the harness the very one on the first left that I have a little marking here this is the one for the low beam this one in the middle is your neutral or ground and this one is for your high beam so you will notice that I'm not doing anything to the low beam and the simply adding up this connector back in here
to give power to to give constant power to the LED lights. So I'm gonna cut the video right now and I'll come back to it once I have the LED lights installed. Um, if you have any questions uh, about the PWM, you can find me an email or you know put it on the questions I'll be able to answer. All right. So see you guys in a bit.